Hi, Jeremy. Hi. I'm going to be doing a really thorough leg and foot uh, measuring session on you today. And that's to get your uh, measurements for custom shoes and socks for your upcoming wedding. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Perfect. Well, congratulations. Thank that's you. really exciting. So I'm just going to write down the reference number here. And um, anything I should know before I begin, again, this is just a measuring session. Uh, we will try on a couple of styles, a higher style shoe and a lower style broke shoe. Okay. Um, but any preferences, anything I should know about the way that your feet are, any issues with the feet for comfort level? Um, yeah, I probably need something a little wider. A wider um, shoe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so I'll go ahead and get started with some of those basic measurements. I'm just going to be recording them as I go. Um, and I'm going to take a quick look at your current shoe uh, to begin with, okay? Okay. So just dropping down here. Do you mind if I remove the shoe? Oh, uh, no. Slip this off here. And keeping it tied so I can see exactly what looking for so right now your current shoe and would you say you wear these a lot typical for you oh uh, yeah and they're comfortable mm -hmm. okay so the other thing we could do is um work in some padding or some lift to the shoe that would be more comfortable for you i'm just going to write this down Getting first to the bottom of the shoe. Also going to look for any wear on the bottom of the shoe. And then tell me where you're placing your weight and where we might want to build in some extra support. I do see just right on that outer foot here. So outer left tilt. And that makes sense for you saying you need a wider shoe that you're spilling out a little bit here. Taking from the middle. It's nine centimeters wide, 9.5 centimeters at the heel. Getting the full circumference from the widest point. And you like where that hits you on the ankles here? Is that comfortable? Um, yeah, it is. Okay, good. So that's a good reference point as well. 10.5 on the back. Right. So I am going to uh, now look at your other shoe, um, but I'll have you just put that one back on first um, so I can feel around the, the foot and see how it's filling that, that out now that we have the measurements. Okay. So feel free to stand up. You can put the shoe back on. And you can actually remain standing because I want to see where your toe hits. Okay. Perfect. Just like that, a comfortable stance. Uh, maybe widen the legs just a little. Okay, feeling here for the toe. So it looks like in the current shoe we have just about two centimeters. So that's actually a little extra room, but not a bad thing because um, tilt forward for me just a little bit. Your weight, you see you come forward a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay, and relax. And I'm feeling side to side for any space. Got just a little bit of room in the toe box, but you're um, fully expanded here in the middle. So again, yeah, I do think you'd benefit from that wide. Okay, go ahead and have a seat. I'm gonna take a look at the other side and uh, again, I'll have you, I'll remove the shoe for you and it should be pretty symmetr symmetrical, um, but I'll just look at the wear at the bottom of this shoe. These are the same size shoes, correct? Yes. Okay. So the shoe itself should be the same and we'll get the measurements of the foot when we do the full measurements. And this one has a slightly more wear pattern in the um, back left or the backside heel, outside heel. 
So um, I'll remove both shoes now. Just make a note of that. So we had back, left, outside, heel, wear. So I'm going to have you do another standing up just one more time. I know it can be a little bit of a musical chairs here, um, but we'll start out just with the um, shoe measurement tool that we have here mm -hmm. um, and get that on each side before going into more details. So go ahead and push your left heel in here. Okay. the midline of the foot. It's the highest point of the arch. Angle of the toes as well. You get that a little bit more when we have you sit back. but it is about 16 degrees, angle of the toes. And go ahead and smash her. I'm gonna have you lift your foot up and do the same thing on the other side. So just slip it right in there. I'm going to adjust the midline here. So your left is actually slightly longer, which is normal to have one foot that is a little bit bigger than the other. And the midline, the midline length is 10 for arch. Okay. Could you uh, just sit down for me? Okay. So Jeremy, I'm just gonna take a few photos so I can record the measurements. So I'll have you relax both your feet. I'm gonna get one from the top here one from each side. And one from the front as well. And this just helps me keep track of measurements and gives me a visual reference uh, when it comes time to actually crafting the shoes. So we'll start out with the front. different tools here. But I'm going to get the length of, this is the sock height length you prefer or a little higher. What do you generally wear with dress, dress shoes? Probably about this length. About this length, okay. So from the top of the sock to the base of the foot. as well, so we can get the taper exactly right. And I'll just leave the socks on for the measuring since you will be wearing a very similar um, thickness. Uh, we usually do about this for a wool sock under a dress pant, um, so it's best to have the sock on when we take these measurements. So again, I'm just going to take a lot of measurements, so just relax. Let me know if there's any discomfort. 
Otherwise, I'm just going to go through one by one. Get across the bottom now. I apologize for any discomfort. I'm just going to grab the heel length here. The other. Okay. And lastly, just a couple of circumferences around the toes. So here at this knuckle, just 23.5. At the toes themselves. 22 okay. so let me just go ahead and cross check those on the other side now okay again Jeremy just cross checking on this side so I won't make the measurements unless there's any asymmetry there's just a little bit of difference in that ankle there it's just 0.5 centimeters smaller, which again, that foot was bigger from our previous measurements, so that makes sense. And those are the same. Just a little smaller. Fourth toe, 20 centimeters. Fifth toe is the same. Again, making a couple of circumference here. Just around the heel first. That's the same. I'm get from the back of the heel to the front of the foot. It's just a little bit shorter. On the side, same thing. And the, the circumferences again. So back here. It's the same. Okay. So overall, the left foot is just slightly larger, um, nothing abnormal, just the way our bodies work. Oftentimes, one foot is slightly larger than the other. Um, I'm gonna have you do a couple of range of motion things so I can track the angle of flexibility, um, help us with the flexibility of the shoe. So if you can just point your ankles as up far as you can go. Okay, and down. Mark that. So that is the right foot. And same thing on this side. Down, starting. Okay, and up. That's about the same flexibility side to side. Okay. Can you move it this way and that way? Okay. And back this way. 
Okay, normal range of motion that way. Okay, a little more flexibility on this side, this way. Okay. So, would you please, um, for just a moment, remove the socks and I'm gonna have you stand up and I'm just gonna check the symmetry side to side. Okay. Looking for anything abnormal. I'm first gonna get just the distance Average distance of the foot apart. I'm just going to mark that here. In the heel, and this is a natural standing position for you. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to try that again now that you've shifted a little bit here. You're there, I'm also going to uh, get the angle of the foot just naturally, just looking for from the midline. Okay, one side, it's about the same, about a 30 degree. I'm gonna stay there one more second for me. distance between the toes. Looking for symmetry side to side and there is symmetry. So there's nothing unusual there. All right, Jamie, go ahead and put your socks back on and let's try a few pairs of shoes. All right, so to begin with, I'm going to be um, having you just uh, stand up and put these shoes on. These are a bit higher. Um, they also have this nice suede. Mm -hmm. And so these are going to be more flexible shoe than more of a traditional leather that's, you know, it takes a little while to break in. Mm -hmm. um, so people have been really liking these. They're very comfortable. They're great for dancing. Um, do you plan on dancing a lot at your Definitely, wedding? Definitely, yes. Yeah, so these will be great for that. And um, these are in the wide as well. And the ankle support is nice and high. So if you have any problems with your ankles or your feet, um, this could be a good choice for you, okay? Um, it also has just a rubber sole. Um, so it's pretty durable, um, but it does have a slightly less formal look than something more traditional. Mm -hmm. um, so go ahead and stand up and just place these on and I'll tie them for you. Okay. And I want to just feel, um, this is the size closest to the shoe you were wearing, um, but of course we'll make them custom fit. So I want to just feel where your, your toes are landing, your heels are hitting. So I can already see that's a little bit short for the back of the foot, so we can definitely go using the custom measurements there. Okay, and just stand up for me, please. So I'll get these tied. say we have that same issue where these are a little bit big in the toes, less so on this left side than the right side. This does seem to have a little bit more allocation in room because these are the wide, so that does that feel good there? Mm -hmm. Okay, and a little bit of gapping around the ankle, especially on the left side, the right ankle was a little bit wider, so that seems to fit a little better there. Just sort of lean forward, lean back. How do these feel? You can take a step or two. 
Um, they feel pretty good. Okay. Yeah. I'd love to see you in a traditional shoe because this isn't actually doing that much for your ankle support. Um, being the wider set shoe, um, I think is the support that you need mm -hmm. more so than the ankle support. Um, so let's go ahead and remove these and try one more pair. Okay. So these are going to be a slightly more traditional shoe. They've got the broguing pattern there, the cutouts on the leather. But as you can see, so this is a little bit firmer. You know, it's mm -hmm. definitely not as, doesn't have as much give. It's not as soft, um, but it is a little more formal looking. They come mm -hmm. in all, all colors of leather. So this happens to be a brown leather, but probably because um, your suit uh, is darker in color, we mm -hmm. would go with a, um, a darker color leather. Um, we also have um, some some really heavy detailing here, which we could do less or more of. Mm -hmm. um, the bottom of the sole here is rubber, but it allows for a, an easy uh, lift if you want to put in any sort of lift into the shoe. Um, and it's pretty durable as well. Um, this one's obviously been worn before, but yours will be um, sleek on the bottom. So we suggest rubbing them a little bit um, just to scuff them up so we don't have any slips on the dance floor, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. So let's go ahead and put that one on. And yeah, I can tell that they're a little bit tight. Here, I'll unlace this one for you. Actually, it's the same issue on this side as you had on the other side, that it's that size is a little bit hard to get onto the back of the heel. Um, I'll go ahead and lace these up, but I can already tell these are not wide enough for you. Um, definitely not too, too restrictive. tie them too tight just because I can already tell there's a little bit of squeezing here. Um, you can feel that in the arch, I'm sure. But good toe length on these and definitely better in the heel. And how do those feel on you, Jeremy? Um, they feel a little tight, yeah, okay. but I do like the look of them. So you like the look, but the feel of these ones were better? Um, yeah, these just feel a little restrictive. Okay, so what we could possibly play around with, um, feel free to have a seat, I'm gonna remove these for you. What we could possibly play around with is just um, the fabric and the style of the shoe, so we can get more of this look uh, with the, the height of the of the uh, ankle here, um, with a little bit more of that detailing, make it a little fancier, it is a special day, right? Mm -hmm. um, but combine it with the a little bit more wider flexibility of the less traditional suede shoe. Mm -hmm. um, and because we can even see the quite the difference in, in the width here, and yeah, I think absolutely. that that will make a big difference when we go to the custom measurements on mm -hmm. these. Right. I'll put these things away. Um, and just going over any other um, questions you might have for me. Um, do you have a preference on color? Um, what color is the suit? Uh, the suit is a dark green suit. Okay, so I definitely suggest going with probably a black shoe, or at least a very dark gray, um, so that you don't have too much color confliction, because you're already going with a suit that's um, not a neutral color, right? Yeah. Um, so maybe going with a more neutral shoe just to focus on the suit itself. Let's put this one away as well. Um, but I do think I have all the measurements I need from you. 
I'll just double check before I let you um, go today. So, looking through all the photos here, we got a couple of good picture reference pictures, um, quite a few measurements here. We're going to make you the absolute um, most perfect pair of shoes for your feet. They're going to slide on um, like they were made for you. Awesome. Any questions for me? No, I don't think so. Okay, perfect. I will send you over some designs to look at uh, via mail. We'll just mock them up digitally and then we can start making the shoe. That sounds great. Thank you so much. Thank you.